What is going on? I am here with Brad Jones, aka Cinema Snob, Doug Walker, aka Nostalgia Critic, and me, aka me. Uh, I don't. I don't <laughs> have a stuck thing. Stuckmanizer. <laughs> I don't have a thing. You guys have things. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a thing. You don't have a thing. Wow. Oh, I'm God. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> I know. We just saw uh, uh, Ferdinand, probably the most anticipated movie that came out last weekend. It's based off a children's book, which I have not read. I think you read it, though. You said right, or you? I, I saw the it? Disney cartoon, and then I was read the story as a kid. It, it, from what I remember, I could be wrong. It just Ferdinand likes flowers, doesn't like fighting, and then like they mistake him for like this big killer bull. They put him in, you know, the arena, and he doesn't fight. He just smells the flowers, right, right. and they put him back. They don't even do anything to him because it's like, oh, that's pathetic, and that's the story. So really, it's an honest adaptation. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> in case you wanted to see Ferdinand. Except at first, like, they make it look like he's really obsessed with flowers. So yeah. It's like, okay, well, that makes sense. That's the story. And then they just kind of ditch that thread for a long time. Right. Because they realize he's a huffer. <laughs> it, was, it was questionable. <laughs> so Ferdinand is uh, voiced by John Cena, which I guess for a lot of people in the studio who made this was probably like a really subversive idea like get somebody like big like that to verse a sweet little bull yeah he's fine i think his voice work was was good the animation is you know pretty nice it's a blue sky film so it's not pixar it's not dreamworks but it's a, a great looking animation it has a positive message it has all the things you would expect to see in a movie like this it has pretty good music i would say was was fine the voice work is all, it's all good. It's like a serviceable movie that uh, I'm sure kids will probably go to and enjoy watching, but it's, it's, it's lacking in, in regards to any real depth. And one of my biggest issues is that the most important relationship I would say in this movie is the little girl and Ferdinand, because you're supposed to care yeah. about Yeah, it's that. even the poster. Yeah, and it's so throwaway, because it, it starts out with him at this place where they train bulls to be fought, or they go to the chop house and die. And he's a little bull, but eventually he, he winds up as an adult right back in that same place again, and there's just this little time period in between those two uh, visits with this girl on this farm where he's smelling the flowers and enjoying life, and you just don't really feel that connection, really, which I think was kind of a missed yeah. opportunity. They kind of just ditch her, and you know, why couldn't it go back to her kind of missing him, or her saying, yeah. I'm gonna go find him, right. or you know, maybe even a little bit of her adventure while his adventure is going on, or say, you know, something creating that connection, right. because that was the only time I felt any connection to anyone, because everything else is so not awful, but it's very cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. Because in her plot line, when she's off screen, the movie Charlotte's Web is happening with her. <laughs> That's what she's doing when we're cutting away. She's falling in love with a, you know, a yeah. great pig. Yeah. <laughs> there just wasn't enough setup to, to really give a shit about them. No, I mean, it's, it's a movie that, through a lot of it, uh... Through myself just kind of being tired while we were watching it. Th through a lot of it, I was yeah. I was this close to nodding off, and I wasn't really blaming the movie for it, because right. I was like, I, I think I would probably be like this regardless of what I was watching. There would be like little 20 minute chunks where I, I was like, okay, some of this is a little heartfelt, especially at the beginning, especially in the first 15 minutes when we see Ferdinand as the, the baby bull and everything with him and the bullies and this relationship with his with this girl and he loses his dad at the beginning that that i thought was nice like I, I agree with you that was probably one of the better parts of the movie yeah um and when it gets to him being older it's a lot of like kind of easy jokes that you see in the trailer and things like that where not that they were like really groaners but they were jokes you would just sort of expect yeah. in a movie like this come but, on they're in a convertible yeah exactly <laughs> exactly but then every 20 minutes every maybe every 15 or 20 minutes something would happen that would kind of snap me awake or make me really laugh out loud mm -hmm. i was never consistently laughing in this but something would get me like at least a couple times an act in this film sure the part with the uh the eyelid on the yeah it, it, this one bull decapitates a fly with its eyelid and i think all of us just yeah. shouted yeah. with laughter great. it was like a it's he's like a frankenstein bull franken bull sort yeah. of like yeah. they, they say he's created in a lab or whatever <laughs> mm. he seems to be able to like control electricity by rubbing his hooves together which is interesting he's perfectly yeah. fine with electrocuting himself on the fence and it doesn't affect him yeah <laughs> so yeah. he's like this strange uh, creation the, i'm not sure what he is really the strange were they swedish or german i was going to say like the I german love 
horses. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, did you love the dance uh, fighting scene? Because I didn't. At, at first, no, but again, so once in a while there was a funny pose or when the crazy yeah. bull would come in and every part of his body would move except his head. Like, sometimes that strange animation yeah. would make it work a little bit, but yeah, when you hear, like, you know, the pop music playing, it's like, oh, this bull crap, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take that over, um, because I, I kind of liked any time the horses showed up in this. <laughs> it was a little funny. It was, it was sort of the same joke every time, but it was a joke that I was enjoying, and I'll... Yeah, there is that dance off, but the bull uh, twerks. Oh, I <laughs> like must have Fra nodded off in that Frank five seconds. <laughs> I, I might have twerks. too. I think I yeah. I think uh, I, I, oh I no, I, I do kind of remember. I, I that, saw it yeah. very clear. But come on, w w are, are you I'm at sorry, all surprised no, by I'll, that? Though, not, <laughs> at I'll, all. <laughs> I'll take that over the thing that you see in about eighty percent of kids' movies like this, where suddenly there'll be this big. Even if the movie's not a musical, there'll just be this big musical number yes. at the ending credits. Of usually, like yeah, let's all know, dance. Like, yeah, like some like animal pop singer will come out or something. <laughs> and, like, and that doesn't happen here, so I kind of respected that a little bit. It happened in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it was just in the <laughs> yeah. middle. They got it over with so much sooner. <laughs> what were your thoughts on Kate McKinnon's goat? Oh, oh, is that who that yes, was? Yes, that was okay. who that was. Um, I think like everyone in this movie, all I'm doing, and I, I think a lot of it does come down to direction. You just need to give them better material. You have to know when to say, okay, this improv, keep in, mm -hmm. this cut out. And uh, I like a lot of people just going... Who is that? <laughs> Who's that voice? Is it this person? No. Is it this person? No. And just half the cast, I'm just doing that. And I, I think that rather than like excited, like, who is this person? Like, they're so funny and they're mm. making me laugh. Uh, you know, again, that just seems like one where the jokes aren't that great. And, and by God, they're trying. I mean, I can't act like, oh, they're just phoning it in. Like, they're really trying. They are. They're uh. just, they, they don't have an understanding of what the character is. Uh, I I knew it was her right away because it's again Kate McKinnon being weird and crazy. Cause yeah. just cause. Just. I feel like she can be really funny, oh. but again, you need to On put Saturday her like, Night in the right Live. Thing. Yeah, honestly, Kate McKinnon's a comedic genius. Um, she is. I mean, when you really think about it, she goes out there once a week and and just like pulls all this stuff yeah. out of her, and it's it's incredible. And uh, she she has some lines in here that that I think are funny. She she her voice delivery is good. She's funny but it's just one of those things like you said where the, the material just it's serviceable this is not the type of animation and i think there's a reason it was it was put out the same weekend as star wars you know uh -huh. it's like here it's not norma the north this isn't the emoji movie no you know, the, the road chip or <laughs> Alvin and the chipmunks one two or three you know yeah. it's, it's nothing like that this is a movie that as you said kids are gonna go to and be like yeah that was fun but you're not gonna like uh, probably watch it over and over again as a yeah. kid you know and, and I think this is fine for kids. Sure. There's no bad messages. There's nothing that, you know, pull your hair out. Oh, this is awful no. or anything like that. A kid can go see this, laugh at the animation, the bright colors, get a good message. Mm. Little things like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and that's all. It, it's a little, you know, hour and a half to keep your kids quiet. <laughs> like, exactly. that, that's about it. I was kind of watching Bully for Bugs in my head. <laughs> when you so, said, after it was but... done, you just came out and said, I was so waiting for do 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 <laughs> 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 and I'm like, see, that's kind of a failure to the film, because I'm like, how is it I didn't once think of that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a failure of this film somehow. I, I, I know it could blame me, but it's like, no, I'm blaming the film. <laughs> <laughs> the whole bullfighting aspect of the movie, too, it, it just, you could see where it was all going. You knew that as soon as this, this master bullfighter came to this farm, that he was observing them, and you knew, okay, eventually it's going to be Ferdinand, and you know there's going to be a big finale where they have a thing, and he has to not fight and prove his worth, you know. And obviously the message is you can be different and it's mm -hmm. fine. You don't have to do what everyone expects you to do, which is 9 out of 10 of, of family movies. <laughs> yeah. You know? it's not, like I'm, it's not like I'm complaining about it. I'm not being an, an asshole about it. It's Ferdinand, you know? It's, uh -huh. uh, kids are going to go and they're going to have fun. And it's not su insufferable. Mm. The voice work is, is all Insufferable? Oh. Come on, we got to throw these in, man. <laughs> and it's Milk it for all it's worth. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> 
And it's way better than what we watched last night. Last <laughs> this is the better movie that we watched this <laughs> yes. That is much better than A Christmas Story Live. Thank you so yes. much for recommending that. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you did have the better recommendation this week. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, uh, yeah, Ferdinand. It's an animated movie with a bowl and <laughs> right? <laughs> some stuff happens. Uh, I guess if I'm going to grade it, I'm going to give Ferdinand a C+. Plus. C. Yeah. I, I'm with you. I was thinking C plus as well. Yeah. Um, it, it, it did get me a few times. Uh, Kate McKinnon the goat I thought was annoying, but other than that, it, it, it's exactly what you said. I'm never sitting there pulling my hair out. Sure. We've seen worse kids movies this oh, year, yeah. <laughs> by freaking far. This just it it's it's serviceable. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all it is. There is a ball. Yes, okay. thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I think it's time for all of us to go to bed. Uh, but guys, if you haven't checked out Doug Walker, you can check out Channel Awesome. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't checked out Brad Jones, there's also a link for his channel. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, and, and thank uh, you for not making us watch Christmas Story Live again. <laughs> yeah. That's my job. Yeah, yeah. thanks for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a cool collaboration soon on Channel Awesome for something that also came out last weekend, and that'll be up over at that channel next Wednesday, you think? Uh, yes, that is the, uh, the plan. plan. <laughs> Tentatively next yes. Wednesday. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.